let's see what these atheists have to say about... Why Matt Powell is a lying garbage human who is incapable of representing the truth about science in any way, shape or form. Oh wait, I'm sorry, that's what I'm doing today. Matt's doing something dishonest and stupid, probably, as is his custom. So yeah, what are we quote-unquote talking about today, Matt? You goddamn piece of sh- The origin of the first single-celled organisms. Uh, why do you care what atheists say about that, Matt? Why should that even matter? What matters is what the science says about it, and well, I'll tell you one thing the science doesn't say. It doesn't have a big blank section that simply states, please refer to the Bible for accurate explanations of the origins of freaking anything. I wonder why that is. Despite everybody correcting him, he still says that, well, you believe, you know, evolutionists believe we came from a rock. Except that no evolutionist ever believed that. Nobody, yeah. not one, not ever. Hey, that was me old mate Creaky Blinders podcast. I've been on that, and might I say, I looked really good while doing it. Anyway, yeah, no one says life came from a rock, Matt, because that's a really stupid thing to say. Well, I tell a lie, people do say that. Your lot, your senpai and you and many others say it again and again and again after being corrected umpteen bajillion times and never stop. It's almost like you people are completely incapable of understanding a single word that is said to you, which explains a lot. The scientific paper says uh, here that you can see, it says life and rocks may have co-evolved on Earth. Okay, that's already not saying what you just tried to infer that people do. Amazing that you are so quick to fail at everything you try. What truly baffles me are the people who see and hear the exact same things that I'm hearing you say and must notice that you keep f***ing it up, and yet they just don't seem to care how wrong you are, I guess. Well, just like you, Matt. So it checks out. And it goes on to say that rocks beget life. Right there. Ugh, you're gonna make me read, aren't you? You goddamned intellectual vacuum masquerading as not a pile of fetid dog turds. Oh, and that's just great. You don't even link the article, so I have to go and find it myself. Meaning that if I didn't have a good reason to doubt you, in my case, words coming out of your mouth, I, like your idiot followers, wouldn't have bothered to go and find it ourselves and discover that you are basically cherry-picking bullshit. And no, I haven't looked at the article yet, Maybe he's not doing that. But I have been doing this too goddamn long to not know that simply will not be the case. Anyway, the part conveniently obscured by his window was life begets rock, rock begets life, and would you believe it, Matt Powell is lying again. Because at this point, it's impossible to believe he's so incompetent that he keeps accidentally pulling this shit. So, when, when people get online and they say... Hi, I'm Matt Powell, and you should believe the things I say because of how honest I am. You should not believe him, because literally everything that comes out of his face hole is a lie or a misrepresentation or at best an incredible amount of misunderstanding of basic science, conversation, and simple word comprehension. Basically, if you ever use Matt as a source for anything, it should only ever be how not to behave in any situation. Nobody believes that life descended from rocks. Yes, nobody believes that life descended from f***ing rocks. Because that's a goddamn stupid thing to say. And aside from the fact that the article itself says may have and co-evolved, which isn't what you're saying it says, the actual meat is about free-floating chemicals eroding and then reforming into whatever. It's like saying that the disgusting little dirt man I built out of my own skin flakes, filth and toenail clippings evolved from me. Doesn't make sense. Also still better than who man's. It shows that this, this guy hasn't done the most basic of research, you know? Well, isn't that just the pot calling the kettle a ridiculous creationist dumbass? The thing is, you somehow do some research, but you literally stop at a thing that you think supports you and ignore the rest, including the things that you should have read already. Oh, holy crap, I just realised. Okay, who taught Matt about control F? That's it, isn't it? He just searches for a word, like rock, and then anything that sounds good enough for his purpose, that's what he uses. Little to no reading required. Uh, he needs to definitely go look at some scientific articles and papers. 
Yeah, but if he does that, especially the ones you attempt to cite, I think it's going to turn out that you were completely wrong for some bizarre reason. Also, you said that's what atheists say. You aren't going to find that in the scientific papers. I mean, not specifically. You're just going to find what the science says, which isn't strictly the same thing. But whatever. And no, Matt, I'm pretty sure Aaron Ra, a man who has actually, you know, studied actual science, not the hokum you claim it to be. Well, I'm pretty sure he's read and understood infinitely more papers than you ever could. And instead resort to your typical misrepresentations of science, like claiming I think life came from a rock, no matter how many times I explain to you that those are stupid things to say. <laughs> I love how he admits that it's a stupid thing to say. Yes, he does, because that's what he says he doesn't say. Do you hear the words he's saying, or are you just listening out for the word stupid, and then you know it must be about you because of how often you hear that word thrown your way? Maybe if everyone is doing it, they might be onto something. That life descended from a rock. They're admitting that if somebody actually believes that, that it's a crazy belief system. No, they are not. They are saying that it's wrong that it is in fact an incorrect interpretation of what happened, said only by those who wish to make science sound stupid because they are incapable of arguing against what it actually says because their worldview is f***ing stupid. I mean, you shouldn't think it's a crazy belief system. Isn't Adam literally made from f***ing dust? And one assumes that the dust kicking around the vast empty earth would have been rock dust. People in dumb houses shouldn't throw more dumb because the house will then be dumber. No, I don't know where I'm going with this. And here's the thing, they, they actually believe that, whether they realize it or not, and I'm actually gonna show you the scientific papers, we'll just go through uh, just a few of them. Oh God, this is gonna be painful, isn't it? But okay, fine, please do. Tell me what I, an atheist, believe. Like seriously, what the science says and what I believe about what it says aren't necessarily the same things. I could be wrong or the current science is more hypotheses, or I just don't know what it currently says. But the thing about science, even if it did say who man's came from rock, well then that would in all likelihood be our current most accurate understanding, and you not liking it is completely irrelevant to whether or not it's true. Science isn't a popularity contest, no matter how much you want, and frankly need, it to be and show you that this is what they believe. They may not understand the fundamentals of their faith. Oh, you arrogant little so-and-so. The fact that you are completely incapable of understanding basic science and then talk down to people is why some people legitimately f***ing hate you. And I can understand why they do. But, me personally, I find the endeavor of hatred f***ing exhausting. So I don't really do it. No matter how loud and shouty I get, my actual feelings are usually amusement or indifference. But again, I can definitely understand it, you smug prick. But it is something that they do believe, is that life descended from rocks. No, I don't believe that at all. I don't believe we came from rocks. You would think all these people saying that might give Matty Boo Boo a hint that maybe he got something wrong. But no, flat out being told by basically everyone that he's wrong, that's not enough to dissuade him from his belief that he knows what other people think. He must be right because of how smart he is and how stupid they all are for not agreeing with his frankly batshit insane worldview. And that he pretends the science supports him unless it doesn't where it says something he thinks is silly and dismisses it because of that. Dude is so f***ing exhausting, I swear to atheismo. And yet you have mineralogists and geologists and different scientists getting together and telling us that rocks beget life. I mean, you presented one article, not a paper mind, an article that says that. You know articles aren't where we do the science right, and phrases like rocks beget life are just so f***ing unscientific that it's not even worth bringing up, if you are honest. It's flowery language to get across an idea for your general everyday dumbass to go, oh that's interesting, without getting bogged down in what the actual science says. Which is why you like them. I'll be f***ing shocked if anything you bring up is actually a paper and not just another f***ing pop science article because of how smart and honest you are. So it's a bold-faced lie. What, everything you say? I know, right? Air horns, etc. For these uh, atheist YouTubers out there to get online and say, well, nobody believes that life came from a rock. That's a creationist straw man. It is not a lie to say you taking a concept like 
there are minerals and various other compounds and life is made up from them so they would have had to have been the things that life started from and man come from rock is a super simplified and just plain wrong interpretation of that that absolutely is a straw man of what science says likely happened how you can't wrap your head around that is well i can only assume needs lots and lots and lots of practice you know and they'll accuse us of lying well they themselves are lying just by saying that because okay 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 here's the thing even if you were right they wouldn't be lying, they would be wrong. And now some of you might be thinking, well, Matt's wrong, so maybe he's not lying, and just that. But the thing is, apart from the fact that they aren't wrong, Matt also has access to these things, and then just makes up his stupid conclusion out of thin air. Like, they could be wrong if the science said, life come from the rocks, but for some reason it never ever f***ing says that. The only people who say that are Matt and his creationist pals, even though they are getting it from nowhere. Ergo, they are lying sacks of dookie and should really, really stop. But they won't, because the people they lie to the hardest is themselves, when they say, wow, me am so smart, and that's just sad. It is basic knowledge on the origin of life research. Well, now that's a question. If they are wrong, why do they keep doing it? Like, seriously, you must understand that science is designed so that bad and just plain wrong ideas get filtered out. Why does this idea that you believe to be wrong, and then misrepresent but let's ignore that, why is it still there? Oh right, because young earth creationism is a conspiracy theory. Because it has to be, because that's the only way it can continue to be not completely at odds with the science in big old quotes. Because the bits you don't like are made up, and the bits that you do like are fine. It's weird how it's all science done basically the same way, when Creative Boys is always so consistent with how correct it is. I mean, that's only because it's all nonsense, but still, consistent nonsense, I'll give you that. Here's another paper, uh, Genesis, Rocks, Minerals, and the Geochemical Origin of Life. So again, this is a paper on the origin of life. You can see it right there. You know, this is really weird, because I looked that up and found something that does word for word pretty much look like that. But the article itself looks like this. I don't know if it means anything, but as a general rule, actual papers don't look like magazine articles, mostly because they don't read like them, because that's not what they're for. Um, if you read on in this paper, it says researchers on the origin of life now conclude read on um dude again don't know if that's actually a proper paper but you know that says it's an abstract it isn't the paper it's a concise summary of the paper usually written in plain language and it's right at the start i mean do you even go into the paper itself because that's a paid site the rest of it is well not there you can't say this is what things said by only reading the freaking summary my dude that's not how you anything that rocks and minerals must have played key roles in virtually every phase of life's emergence. Okay, forgetting the, this is just the abstract thing, but yeah, what is actually wrong with that? We have done experiments that show that life could form independently, and what is that life made from? Fragments of stuff. On a planet with, at the time, no life on it, there's going to be stuff all clumped together, and erosion is going to take them apart. That stuff can form into other things, but it's not the same as the rocks, like, birthing the other thing. It's like if I knocked down your house and then built a prison for your stupid with the bricks. You wouldn't say that your stupid prison was born from your house. In fact, no, better than that. It would be closer to me taking a brick from loads of different houses all over the place to build a completely different structure. That structure is not made of houses. It's made of bricks. The building blocks are what is important, not where they may have come from. The theory is that rocks were rained on and minerals were eroded from those rocks and then we came into existence based on those minerals getting eroded and rearranging themselves into elements that would make it so that life could come into existence. Uh, kinda. I mean, rearranging themselves is inaccurate at best. Wonder why you use that. But yeah, again, the parts came from something else and formed, and then the things that formed became more complex over time, and now we're just talking about actual evolution, and we all know what you think of that. But seriously, assuming this is accurate to the science TM, how is that people come from rocks? And, you know, where the f*** else is this material supposed to be but in the environment around it? No, no, it's much more logical that some magic dipshit willed it into existence because he really needed his dick sucked by billions of people. That's what makes sense. That is the fundamental of their faith. It's the fundamental of the 
origin of life from an atheistic perspective. The atheistic perspective is, me not by God real. The hows of life and the universe actually have nothing to do with that. They might influence what one is more likely to find credible, but it speaks not to whether the individual believes pretty much any version of what happened, aside from the God one. Your conflation of science and atheism is always so funny to me because it is like you giving the stronger position to people who you are fighting against. I mean, I appreciate it, but it does show just how ridiculously bad you are at this. And the fact that they admit that it is so stupid to believe that life came from rock. Nobody believes that. No, no, no. They are saying you are wrong because, and get this right, you're wrong. You are mischaracterizing the science to make it sound like something it isn't, because that's not what it says. And the reason you give that incredibly flippant, simplified version is to try and make it sound stupid. But the second you explain it in a non-stupid way, well suddenly it's not so stupid, because those explanations are not the same as each other. Figure it out, you thick fuck. To me, they're admitting that their own belief system is crazy. And to me, that's exactly what you're doing. You line up what science says in a dishonest way, but for some completely baffling reason, you do it in a way that more closely lines up with what you believe, but never make the connection and instead start railing against your misunderstanding slash, you know, lies, whilst simultaneously calling your own ideas dumb without even realizing it. Your sheer unabashed incompetence is frankly amazing, you big gangly goof. Wait, before you go, I have something super important to tell you. It's life or death. It will change everything forever. Nope. Wait, it's gone. Oh well, probably wasn't important. But while I have you, don't forget to comment, subscribe, and notify. And if you want more of my smexy voice, check out Mrs. Six channel Spoon Star Stories, where I narrate and voice all the videos. And she does the work. And if you want to support the channel, check out the merch store for cool t-shirts, or check out Patreon, memberships, and PayPal to support directly. Finally, Follow me on the medias of social to get completely pointless guff and to keep up on the latest releases. Oh, I just remembered what I was going to tell you. Whatever you do, don't touch the-